The McClintocks called every department they could to try to find someone who could help save their dog out of this storm drain. North County Police Cooperative ended up being the ones to save the day. They're our, fan, they're our babies because we don't have children. So our Officer Camp and Corporal Jost responded to a call on Monday that, quite frankly, put them in a tight spot. Oh my God, you went down there? Michael and Sharon McClintock's dog, Miss Daisy May, fell into the sewer in front of their home and was stuck down there for hours. My stomach turned. I thought she was a goner. I thought she probably fell down on her head and broke her head and broke her neck and was just laying down there dead. I grew up around dogs and I, I've been in those desperate situations and I can tell you that they were extremely upset. They were both crying. Oh my God. The couple was having their floor redone when Daisy May, who was blind and deaf, moseyed out the front door, walked down to the street, and fell right in. At that time, they advised us that a neighbor told them their dog had possibly fallen into the storm drain. Officer Camp and I opened the manhole of the storm drain, looked down, we were able to see small footprints in the mud. He said, I'm not going to leave until the, the dog's rescued. And, you know, I, I, don't think the, any, I don't think there's anybody else that would have done that. Unfortunately, I had to lay down completely flat inside the mud and whatever else was down there. We were able to find the dog 14 feet in and we were able to hook, hook the dog and pull the dog out. When he came up with the dog, we just burst out crying because we were so, we were just so relieved. And we were just sitting, you know, thinking, boy, somebody really put it out there for us. Major Ron Martin said that officers are sometimes faced with challenges that are not routine. He said that he is proud of Joe's and Lee Camp's quick thinking and effort. Reporting from Delwood, Michaela McGee, Fox 2 News.